So Microsoft have announced a brand new version of Microsoft Teams. That's not like the updates we get every month. In fact, this update has been a substantial one. Microsoft have effectively rebuilt the Microsoft Teams app to build on some of the feedback that we've always said to them over many years. And that would also include changes on how we can use external accounts that we've invited to other organizations and some of the changes in the user experience as well. Now, this new version of Teams is fundamentally a lot quicker. It's effectively two times faster to start, uses 50% less memory on your computer, and makes your old devices run Teams pretty well, and your newer devices run even more lightning quick. So, what's the catch? Well, it's actually just in preview at the moment. It's not available for global release. But in this video, we have access to the preview to show you some of those new changes that are coming in Microsoft Teams, and also some bits that are not supported in the preview. So anyway, less about that. Let's head into the new version of Teams and go check out what's new. So let's get started with a new version of Microsoft Teams. To use a new version of Teams, at least while it's in preview, you'll need your IT administrator to allow that via a policy change. We're handily gonna put a link in this video so you'll be able to access it by your IT administrator. And once that's done, you will then see a slider in the top left to try the new version of Teams. Now, once you do turn on the new version of Microsoft Teams, you can also return back to the classic version. So you can actually use both versions on your computer, although you are limited to only use one at any one time. So that means if you do use a new version and you don't like it, you can easily just go back and return back to the original version. But let's go ahead and click on try the new Teams so we can get started. And you probably just noticed there how quickly the new Teams loaded, and that's the first significant difference with the new version of Teams. You'll also notice that the new color scheme in Teams is also shown here. Rather than the classic purple, we now see more of a light gray being used throughout the Microsoft Teams UI, and therefore the purples are only used in specific elements, but that new, fresher UI has been introduced to Microsoft to focus attention using that purple shading where it's more appropriate. Okay, that's all great, right? Nice color schemes, loads a bit faster, but what fundamentally is the difference in this new version of Teams? Well, the first, and I think the most fundamental, is the ability to have multiple accounts logged in to your Teams app. That means you can switch between accounts in different customer environments. We like to call them tenants in a techie term, but it means you can switch between them really easily. And whether or not this is intentional by Microsoft, you can even have a login to other accounts internally that you can just switch between. Let's go ahead and have a go at that. So to switch an account, all we need to do is click into that top where it says the word Contoso. That'll be your own environment. So you can see I'm logged into multiple accounts here. The account of Alex is actually inside of my own environment. So it's another organizational account that I have in the same IT environment. And by left clicking on Alex's profile, it'll automatically switch across. Not only that, the account for Megan I was just logged into is still available. Again, I click Contoso, switch back to Megan's account, and it will go straight back in. If I also had notifications like messages or calls, they would also show in the Teams app across those different accounts. So I won't lose anything between moving between those accounts. Not only that, this third account here is actually outside of my organization. I've been invited to this account. And therefore, as you can see, I can also even log in to a third party account from another organization that's invited me into their Teams environment. Not only that, there's also an activity feed showing all the different activity in the accounts I have also have access to. So I can easily click into the activity feed, click into the account where that is also occurring and having that notification and sends me straight into that relevant account. So I don't have to continue to click through all of those different accounts. Just using the activity feed will show me all activity across all my accounts, easy access to switch between them. So the next change is in the activity feed. When you've been mentioned or there's activity going on, especially in a channel, the old builder teams used to show you the full channel conversation, which is very hard for you to fully understand where that activity was. But now Teams puts it more in a focus mode. So in this scenario, I can see this post from Alex is just about retail sales. I don't see the thread of the other conversation going on inside of that channel. Of course, I could click on the freed up menu and then select pop out conversation and continue the conversation with Alex as well, which is also now supported. But this new experience in the feed is very much built around trying to keep your attention on those particular topics without 
having to read through the whole thread, which may not be relevant to you as well. Not only that, if we head into one of our channels in this new version of Teams here, as we can see, we also have a new experience. All of the latest posts now appear at the top of the Microsoft Teams channel. They used to appear at the bottom and no longer, it's always going to appear at the top. Alongside that, of course, when you're starting a new post, you'll have a new experience appearing at the top of your Microsoft Teams channel. Now, the experience is very similar to what we've seen previously. It has a subject and also has a message that we can define. When we go ahead and post that message, it will appear right at the top of that channel for everyone to easily see and have access to. As we can see, by posting that new message, we see exactly that capability here. But not only that, we now have the ability to click on the freed up menu and we can pop out any conversation inside of one of these channels. That means I can handily keep this in another tab while I go ahead and browse through the other content into my team and still having that digital assets tab available to me to be able to have that conversation within that channel. So you're now be able to pop out any of your channel conversations just like you did when you in Microsoft Teams chat. Not only that, there's also been an update to the settings. We go into the settings area here. You'll already see that a lot of options have been actually reduced in terms of keeping these notifications and so forth very easy to use and also having quick access to all of your different accounts to manage and remove them from Teams. Likewise, you also have a new notifications. You can use Windows notification settings to keep on top of all your Teams notifications coming through. So using Windows as a way to use those notifications rather than just the app itself. But it's not all plain sailing when it comes to using the preview. There's a lot of features in here that simply at the moment don't work or are missing from this version of Teams. So I'm gonna show you a couple of those now, but of course in time you may see those actually get fixed and brought back into Teams as Microsoft is continuing to work on this preview version. The first, on the left-hand side, you'll see there is no calling option. There is a calling option using classic version of Teams for my account here, but in this version, it is simply not showing. Therefore, your contacts directory will not appear in this new version of Teams, at least for the moment, until Microsoft puts out another release of the preview version as well. Not only that, if we only to add a further app into our Teams app here, you can see you are fairly limited with what you can do in terms of the new Teams app. We can only use a selection of first party Microsoft apps at this point, with Microsoft working on others and all the other apps we brought in later. So again, a bit of a change there, and if you use other third party apps, this preview may not be very useful to you. Also, as you can see here in our Microsoft Teams chat, Whilst channel conversations and posts appear at the top of the screen, one-to-one -one Teams chat continues to appear at the bottom of the screen. So again, it's a bit of a disconnected experience when it comes to you actually managing your channels versus managing chat in that you're looking at the top of the screen and now you're looking back at the bottom of the screen. And also a new set of dynamic emojis don't yet work in this new Teams build. And also areas like breakout rooms are also not supported when you're joining Microsoft Teams meeting. But if all of this is a little bit too much and you don't want to use a preview anymore, as I mentioned earlier, you can always go back to the classic version of Teams until this version meets your requirements. All you need to do is go to the top left and then click on the little slider next to New Teams and you can revert to the old version of Microsoft Teams. And of course, head back when you want to check out some of those new features when they come into it later. And there we have it, Microsoft Teams, the preview version with a first look for you. Now, of course, my personal opinion is I'm not using this preview version for my day-to-day -day job. I'm using the classic version of Teams because there's just not enough supported in there for the moment for me to use the preview. And it's also a beta version as well. So in that way, yes, it's called a preview. And of course, as the preview gets better over the coming months, it may well be the time for me to hop back onto there and begin using the preview. But anyway, you've now seen a great view of what's new in the new version of Microsoft Teams and what's coming to your desktop very soon. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to follow us for even more great content to improve the way that you work.